On July 20th, 1969, something incredibly important happened in human history. It was when Neil Armstrong took his very first step on the moon. Upon taking that step, he said the famous words, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Undoubtedly, it marked a monumental leap for human civilization. The historic moment also marked a crucial milestone in the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union, a competition that would define who would lead in space and shape the future of the world. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we will take you on an express journey through the history of evolution of space exploration. We'll delve deep into how it started, why progress seemed to stagnate for a while, and the exciting future that lies ahead with the emerging private space company like SpaceX. So, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. The history of modern space exploration can be tracked back to World War II when the German military made significant technological advancements. They developed the V-2 rocket, the first long-range guided ballistic missile capable of reaching the edge of space. Its engine utilized a staged combustion cycle, a concept crucial to today's rocket engines. As Germany was defeated by the Allies, both the United States and the Soviet Union raced to capture German rocket technology and the scientists behind it. Operation Paperclip, led by the United States, brought many German scientists, including the people behind the V-2 rocket, to American soil. These brilliant minds would become the driving force behind NASA's early space programs. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union seized V-2 manufacturing facilities and equipment. The captured knowledge fueled the Soviet space program, setting the stage for their early victories in the space race. But hold on, before we move forward, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. We have tons of videos that will help you learn new things. Now let's continue. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union made a spectacular accomplishment that sent shockwaves across the world. On October 4th, 1957, they launched the very first satellite known as Sputnik 1. Its significance extended far beyond scientific achievement. It held immense geopolitical and ideological importance. The United States, in particular, was caught off guard by the Soviet Union's unexpected success. In response, they swiftly established the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA, in 1958. Shortly after Sputnik 1, the Soviet space program made another remarkable achievement by sending the first animal, a dog named Laika, into Earth orbit. And just a few years later, on April 12, 1961, a Soviet cosmonaut named Yuri Gagarin broke a historic record by becoming the first human to enter space. American astronaut Alan Shepard followed suit by embarking on a suborbital journey aboard Freedom 7. Though the flight was brief, it lasted only 15 minutes compared to Gagarin's 108 minutes. Two years later, the Soviets took the lead once again by sending Valentina Tereshkova into space marking her as the first woman in space, an achievement that the U.S. could only match two decades later. For a while, the Soviets appeared to be ahead at every turn. Seeing this, the United States was determined not to miss a crucial milestone, landing on the moon. So, in 1962, President John F. Kennedy made a historic announcement. He set the ambitious goal of sending an American astronaut to the moon before the end of the decade. To turn this dream into a reality, NASA launched the Apollo program. It involved years of missions for testing and preparation. Eventually, just six months before the end of the decade, the moment everyone had been waiting for arrived. On the night of July 20th, 1969, millions watched on television as the lunar module Eagle, carrying Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, separated from the command module and descended towards the lunar surface. In this historical moment, Armstrong took the famous historic leap, becoming the first human to set foot on the moon. Aldrin joined him shortly after, and together, they conducted experiments, planted the American flag, and left a plaque on the moon's surface. The success of Apollo 11 wasn't just a monumental achievement for the United States, it was a triumph for all of humanity. However, the Apollo missions came at a hefty price, and the financial burden began to concern the U.S. government. 
The Apollo program continued with subsequent missions, but gradually the funding decreased and eventually the project came to an end with Apollo 17 in 1972, carrying Gene Cernan among others as he became the last person to walk on the moon. After that, the U.S. shifted its focus to more scientifically sound projects rather than political motivations. As for the Soviet Union, after their defeat in lunar exploration, they also redirected their efforts. Gradually, the space race started to lose its intensity, and a new chapter in space exploration was about to begin. The U.S. and the Soviet Union, once space rivals, found common ground in the pursuit of peaceful space exploration. This spirit of cooperation eventually led to joint missions, like the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975. In this decade, space probes like Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched. They embarked on an extraordinary journey through the outer solar system, revealing the majesty of Jupiter, the mesmerizing rings of Saturn, and the mysterious ice giants Uranus and Neptune. At the same time, NASA's Viking program took on Mars. Viking 1 and Viking 2 successfully landed on the Red Planet in 1976, conducting experiments in search of life. These missions paved the way for continued exploration of Mars. In 1986, the Soviet Union launched a space station named Mir, which means peace in Russian. Mir was a significant milestone for several reasons. It hosted a series of international crews, including cosmonauts from various Soviet republics and astronauts from countries like France, Germany, and the United States. Mir served as a platform for conducting scientific experiments in various fields, such as biology, physics, and astronomy, contributing valuable information to our understanding of microgravity. In the realm of observation, the Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990, revolutionized our view of the cosmos. Orbiting above Earth's distortion, Hubble gifted us with breathtaking images of distant galaxies. Its scientific insights into the universe's age and mysteries reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. The late 1990s saw the planning and construction of the International Space Station, ISS, to replace the aging mirror. The ISS is a multinational effort involving space agencies from the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. And at the dawn of the millennium, the ISS welcomed its first long-term resident. In the 2000s, Mars exploration took significant steps. NASA's rovers, including Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance, investigated the Red Planet. Among the things they found in the Red Planet are evidence of past water and the potential for microbial life. Around the same time, other spacecraft also launched to other planets. New Horizons explored Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, while Juno delved into Jupiter's composition and gravity field. Additionally, the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in December 2021 greatly improved our space observation capabilities. The new millennium also saw other countries joining the space exploration efforts. For example, China launched its Chang'e mission to the moon, and India successfully launched its Mangalyaan Mars mission. Furthermore, it's not just governments involved. Private companies have entered the new space age. In the coming decades, we can expect that they will play an increasingly dominant role in the space industry. In fact, most recent space missions have been conducted by SpaceX, a company owned by Elon Musk. By the way, we have a video about the evolution of Elon Musk, so make sure to check it out after this one. Looking ahead, there are some exciting prospects on the horizon. Lunar bases. Interest in the moon is reigniting, and there are plans to establish sustainable lunar bases. These bases are crucial stepping stones for deeper space exploration. They'll support resource utilization and serve as launch points for missions to Mars and beyond with NASA's Artemis program leading the way. Asteroid mining. The idea of mining asteroids for rare metals and water ice is gaining momentum. This could potentially revolutionize space travel, making it more self-sustaining and economically viable. Private companies like Planetary Resources and Deep Space Industries are already exploring this area. Mars colonization. Mars shows potential as our future home and the technology for making the planet habitable is already in development, with SpaceX at the forefront. 
it's anticipated that the first humans will set foot on Mars in 2029. Now, what are your thoughts on space exploration? Do you believe humans will successfully inhabit other planets? How do you envision the future of space exploration? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. While you're here, why not check out our other videos? We've got plenty of fascinating content on the history and evolution of various topics. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.